Uh, okay. That took a while. That's wonderful. Okay. Hopefully that is not too much of a video. Okay. So now that I know that my mic is working, let us um, get the show on the road. Okay, so today we're going to do a demo that I did at um, a Reconfig Academic Conference. Uh, this is part of my th this was my thesis work at Brigham Young University. The paper's online. I should probably reference that in the description. I'll add that in the description. And this um, this is a live demo. We have um, this is being performed on the Xilinx Pink. And this demo is here's kind of. This doesn't talk about it, it's just a copy of the pink readme, but you can download it here following these instructions and it, um, okay, here it is. This demo um, uses partial reconfiguration and HLS video filters to rapidly um, change out these different, uh, different video filters. And we can, we're gonna look at this um, right now and um, hopefully that works well. Let's see. Um, for that, I'm using the uh, Genki Shadowcast capture. It's meant for um, the Switch, but works great uh, for this FPGA. I'm I'm able to, as you can see, cast it to uh, this screen right here. So I have the the source for my pink is an output on my GPU. So it's just like another monitor for my computer. So it's 1080p, 60 frames per second, and then we're um, capturing it off over the Genki HDMI, and you should be able to see it. Um, but that's about it for that intro. So let's um, go ahead and look at this. Um, so we have, this is for the pink Python pages to get this working. There is another repository for the hardware. And I planned, um, we can go and show real quick so here's the HLS sources for each of these, um, each of these uh, video filters, and I plan to each video uh, later videos to go over each of them by themselves and talk about how the HLS works and kind of the ups and downs of it. So we'll do a we'll do a quick series of all these, and that should be easy to go through. Um, so I have my demo up and running. It takes a while to up and running, but I can talk about what we already have going. Um, so, most of the stuff you see on the screen, the FPGA is actually overlaying on top of the image. So we have BYU Reconfig Demo 2019, we have Yokuso in Japanese, which means welcome. We have a BYU logo over here on the right, BYU logo. And then we have these lines along the edge, which are also being used by the video filter. And the video filter is also doing a green screen. Kind of curious, are you guys hearing the sound or is it just me? Okay, I think it's just me. Um, yeah, it looks like the desktop audio is actually not coming through. I need to fix all my audio. Um, but so we have a green screen, and I have an image in the background right now. It's uh, that's appropriate. It's um, that, but if we go over here, we can we have three different backgrounds we have a space background, um, we have a BYU background, and then we have um, the Avenger background, which is a fun one. So we have kind of three different channels. Um, so this set of filters is for the, um, the foreground image. The speed is the, for the background image. And I'm gonna mute this, it's gonna annoy me. And, um, and then C is the after the green screen mix has happened. So, for example, let us uh, mess with the, we'll do the background first so, that, so you can actually, we'll do the foreground first. So the foreground, we have a pass filter, we can dilate it, dilating is looking for pixel groups, and if there's not nine pixels in a group, it will decrease it, or the based upon the threshold. We can do an embossed filter. We can do an erode, which is the opposite of a dilate. We can do a grayscale. We can invert the image and sharpen the image, which is just using a three by three kernel. We can outline the image, also doing a three by three kernel. You can't see it to well, the lines much not be that strong. 
we can insert some lines and I'll show you the lines with all the different uh, all the different layers that's pretty nice we can add a text and you can kind of see this is the foreground and it's green so it's being captured by this we can mirror the image which so we can flip the image back and forth um, we can add some color filters on it. And do a silbo across it. And this is all real time, 60 frames per second, 1080p. So let's go see what happens if we just do the background. Let's do this background. So, yeah, pass through filter. We can dilate the background separately. Sometimes I don't have the synchronization as good in hardware, so sometimes it will get out of sync with the HDMI and it takes a while to get back in synchronization. So that's, sometimes we'll see that issue. Um, so that's doing a dilate on the background, and emboss the background. Probably would be easier to see emboss on this background. Um, you can just walk in through the other filters and hopefully um, it gets back in time. Grayscale. And um, so each of these filters have been generated using high level synthesis using some C code. And while high level synthesis was, I guess, hard to start with, once I got a good foundational structure to the code, it was easy to rapidly do these additional filters. Um, a lot of these filters are using a 3x3 three three kernel, um, which is probably the simplest is the simplest kernel you can do. I have gone up to uh, a 14x14 14 14 kernel in these FPGAs, so I know we can, you can do larger kernels while keeping the same frame rates. Yeah, maybe we'll take a moment and look at all the lines. So let's do the three sets of lines here. So you'll see the green screen image is now between these different lines. So the lines are being applied to the foreground image, to the background image, and to the mixed image. So the only lines that would be behind the green screen character are the lines applied to the background image before the mixing. Um, and then we can try to do the text. Wait a second for this to come in. And there's three texts. The green one you can't really see. And it, those ones. This is the output. The the writing for this is the the code writing for these different text lines is not the best. I have changes I would do in the future if I could. So yeah, we have three texts. We can put them in different places. And um, probably the most interesting is probably the Sobel filter. So this is doing a down and left Sobel filter in real time. And we can see how it um, can quickly uh, change what's happening. It's hard to tell what that, these images are. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where it came from. Um, how long is this video so far? Um, I don't really know. Oh, we've been live for 10 minutes. So yeah, this is a pretty short video. I think 10 minutes is probably a good place to go. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can look through all this code on the website and I'd use a bunch of this IPython to create this very simple GUI. And that's about it. Um, you don't have any, no one's really posted any questions on the chat or anything so I think I'll probably end the stream here um, we'll see if I can find a way to easily cut out uh, the, the silent minutes in the video besides that that's about it um, thanks for joining um, we will try to get videos out more often it's been a few weeks but hopefully this series will continue and other series will continue and we can answer fun questions about developing with uh, FPGAs using uh, advanced tools like HLS or advanced protocols like partial reconfiguration or advanced interfaces like PCIe. And I hope to kind of explore these and share this with you. So 